Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanted to talk about is leaf margins and leaf smells. What I'll talk about first is leaf margins. Now what a leaf margin is, it's the outside edge of a leaf. So if I'll, I'll look at this leaf here. If you look at the outside edge and what shapes the leaf, this edge is considered a margin. So um, what I have here is a magnolia species and it's a simple leaf. And this leaf edge here is a margin and it's smooth. This margin is a, an entire margin. That's the name of it, entire. Um, good way to help you identify a tree when you um, look at the different shapes of leaves and understanding the margins can help you identify the tree that you're looking at. The next one I have here is a loquat species. And on this loquat, it's a simple leaf, and it has a sharply toothed margin. It's an example of a sharply toothed margin. The next um, example I have here is this alcova species. It's also a simple leaf. And if you look at the leaf, this edge, it looks kind of like a sawtooth. This is called serrate. You look at it and it looks like a bunch of little saw teeth. Now I don't have an example of this other one, but a double serrate looks exactly like this, but on each of these teeth, there's also serrations. So a double serrate would be double serrated, just as it says. Um, this is an example of a serrate leaf. The next one that I have, it is a fractionist species. This is a pinnate leaf, and this one has an undulate leaf margin. So an undulate leaf margin is this wavy. See how this kind of goes up and down? Well, it's wavy. That's considered to be undulate, and it also has some serration on it. So an example of an undulate leaf margin. On the next sample that I have, it's an ilex species, and this one has a spine leaf margin. They're really like a needle. If you were to poke your finger on it, it would hurt pretty good. <laughs> Anyhow, it is also a simple leaf, and that margin is a spine leaf margin. The, left, the next leaf margin that I wanted to talk about is a ciliate leaf margin. What a ciliate leaf margin is, is um, there's little hairs, fine hairs that grow off the edge of the margin. That is considered a ciliate leaf margin. Um, the one after that that I wanted to talk about is a crenate leaf margin. And a crenate leaf margin has these rounded teeth. So like how uh, you looked at the serrated one, there's like all these little sawtooth. A crenate is just round bumps that go down the length of the margin. The next one I wanted to talk about is a dentate. Now a dentate um, leaf margin are the symmetrical triangular um, edges on the leaf margin. They go all the way down from petiole to stem. Now there's one called a denticulate. Pretty much the same exact thing, but it's um, a smaller size. So it goes down the leaf margin, symmetrical, triangular, and all the way to the leaf um, petiole to tip. Um, the last one is called a sinuate leaf margin, and a sinuate leaf margin are these, um, they're wavy indentations on the margin itself. Not like the undulated leaf margin, but on the edge of the leaf margin, the wavy edge. Last week we talked about on our video um, leaf types, shapes, and structure. Uh, we talked about lobed leaf margin, and that's that's um, a good one to check out if you wanted to see what a lobe leaf margin is. The next thing I wanted to talk about was leaf smells or scents. Sometimes you'll go to a tree and, and if you crush the leaf, it'll give off a certain scent that's specific to that tree. And one of the ones I have here is this, and it's from a eucalyptus. It's a lemon scented gum. And it's crazy when you, you crush this leaf and you break it, kind of rub it a little and you smell it it smells like lemon to me like lemon pledge but man 
it really smells good um yeah that's a, a a good way to tell that this is a lemon scented gum a lot of times eucalyptus look a lot alike but by crushing it you know you definitely know that this is a lemon scented gum another one i got here is a magnolia now take off a leaf and if you crush it to me it smells like a pine tree it's crazy it's a broadleaf tree but when i smell it and i crush the leaf it smells like a Christmas tree. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I, I like the way, especially when we chip these things, if you're, you know, chipping, you're like, the, the scent is really strong, really like pine. Uh, I like the scent of magnolia. And another one I got is a laurel tree. Well, also, I think they call it a sweet bay. You pop this off and you crush it up. And the scent I get is, I don't know, like a sweet smell. I can't narrow it down to anything, you know, laurel smell. That's, that's all I could say would be, but it's a real good scent. It's really sweet. Okay. Um, the last one I have over here is from a camphor tree. So I'll pop off the leaf here. And then when I get this, I crush it up. And I smell this. It smells like mentholatum, <laughs> you know, like, uh, like menthol. Um, Kind of crazy, but really, it it smells like something you'd use and rub on your body. <laughs> Menthol. Cool. So those are some of the trees that will give off a scent when you crush them. I'm, I'm sure there's many other trees. And it, I'm thinking if you're looking to figure out what tree you're looking at, sometimes you find the tree and they might have a description of what the scent is. Um, crushing leaves is another way to help you identify a tree. Well, there you go. Leaf margins and the leaf scents are another good way to help you identify a tree that you're looking at. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Um, for me, I really like the scent of this lemon scented, lemon scented gum. I think it's uh, like potpourri. <laughs> Anyhow, out of the bunch, I think that's my favorite um, of, the, of, the, of the scents. All righty, there you go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like what we do and um, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.